What's going on beautiful people? My name is Justin Head and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my full review of the Kavaj Munich wallet. So first of all, I gotta give a huge thanks to Kavaj for sending out a Munich for review and giving me the opportunity to branch the channel out from tech a bit. A wallet kind of goes hand in hand with your phone as far as daily essentials go, so I figured why not bring one to the channel. Anyways, let's get into the wallet itself. To start things off, let's get into arguably one of the most important aspects of a wallet, material. Like Kavaj's other products, the wallet is made of a genuine cowhide leather which feels amazing in the hand as well as looks pretty classy in my opinion. The wallet also is going to be able to hold up to general wear and tear thanks to the leather construction and the smooth and consistent stitching. Moving on, I want to talk about the unique design of this wallet as it definitely stands out. Now the most common type of wallet I've seen is the horizontal folding wallet with the horizontal card slots. The Munich is kind of a fresh take on this. Instead of having a cover in the horizontal card slots, what they've done is taken those card slots, flipped them vertically, and instead of having a cover, they've replaced it with three exposed card slots on the front. This is great because you get a total storage amount of 9 cards as opposed to the 6 on the wallet I showed previously. Also, you have two main compartments for things like cash, receipts, and things like that. I want to note that to store cash, receipts, and things like that, you're going to have to fold them in half since the slots are half the size of a normal cash slot. This wasn't too bothersome for me and was definitely worth it for the unique design, but I know there's some people out there that absolutely can't stand to fold their cash, so much so that it's a deal breaker for them. One last benefit of the unique design is the crazy portable form factor. Thanks to the lack of a cover on the front, this is both insanely light and insanely thin. It takes up almost no space in my pocket and most of the time I forget that it's there. Overall, this wallet is a strong competitor in today's market. Things like the unique design, the thin and light form factor, and the 9 card capacity allow this to appeal to a wide variety of people, especially thanks to that $35 price tag. That's gonna do it for me guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of a bit of a different product from my usual stuff, be sure to let me know your thoughts on it, and if you are interested in the Munich, be sure to check the description down below where I'm gonna have it linked on Amazon. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later.